This is Monday, March 28th, 2020, meeting of the Berlin Board of Assessors. As a preliminary matter, please note that this meeting is being recorded and that some attendees are participating by video conference. Accordingly, please be aware that other folks may be able to see you. Take care not to screen share your computer. Anything that you broadcast may be captured by the recording. This is Kevin Pond, Chair of the Board of Assessors. Permit me to confirm that all members and persons anticipated on the agenda are present <clears throat> and can hear me prior to me calling the meeting to order. All members, when I call your name, please respond in the affirmative. Bev Wheeler. Here. <clears throat> Roger Bradley. Here. Staff, when I call your name, please respond in the affirmative. Molly Reed, Assessing Director. Here. <clears throat> Anticipated speakers on the agenda? None, and I don't see any in attendance. <laughs> okay. With a quorum of the board present, I call this meeting to order at 5.59. We've got to wait a minute. There it is. Comes the tour. There it is, yeah. Six o'clock? Yes. Or about. There Did it is. Know? Okay, so with a quorum of the board present, I call this meeting to order at 6 p.m. on Monday, March 28th, 2020. Okay. Okay. Did I? I know I just sent the notice out this morning. Do you want me to read the minutes? Uh, I think we should kind of glance over them. Yeah. You accepted the minutes from February 12th last year. I there was the February permits and the Warren Group February sales. I updated you that the tax deferral article had been submitted. I updated you of my conversation or my email back and forth about the administrative assessor position at 18 hours and how I explained what the board succession plan was going to be. Um, we went over the Verizon settlement and, and you gave me permission to sign electronically for you, for you, for the board, which I did, seems to be all set. And I um, updated you that I had placed a request to use Matt Thomas for um, the zero point appellate tax board docket that's coming up. And you came in and you signed accounts payable and excise abatements. And then we adjourned at 6.45. Yeah. Anybody note any omissions or errors on the minutes? I did not. No. Nope. All, nope. all those in favor as read? Aye. And aye. Okay. There's a vote. We'll accept yeah, the minutes yeah. as read. All in favor. Um, there was the city and town. The only exciting thing was there's webinars on local budgeting coming up. The I went before the board on the 21st to ask for permission to hire Matt Thomas and they all agreed. So we're, I'm gonna be setting up a Zoom meeting with Matt and the Beth Greenblatt who's um, doing the valuation portion of it. And Matt and Beth know each other. So they've worked in other towns together. So next, after next week. So the second week in April, I'll be setting that up. Um, is anybody from any other board going to attend that meeting with you? Margaret might, but I'm not sure. Um, no, shouldn't the selectmen maybe, somebody from there kind of? No. No? No. Okay. It's, he's, he's, our, he's the board's counsel mm -hmm. now that the selectmen gave us permission to hire him. Right, but I, I, I would think they may want to be in the loop to see how it went. Well, they will be. 
Okay. I'm good. It's it's the hearing has been postponed till I think it's May. I can't remember the date off the top of my head. So yeah. but okay. hope, hopefully it'll get all settled before that. So all right. um I had last week I had sent an email on what I had to do to get the administrator assessor job on Indeed, and I did not hear back. I sent a reminder email today. Um, we still, we only have that one applicant. So, um, and I wanted to let you know that Joanne has passed course 101, the DOR course, and she also mm -hmm. passed the MAO course five, uh, appraisal of ma mass appraisal of real property. So um, I didn't know if you wanted to send out a, a memo to her congratulating her and CC it to personnel in the town yes. administrator. Yeah, I think that would be a good idea. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And um, all the INEs have been mailed for FY23. I've been trying to get quotes for personal property because the quote is above the threshold for um, procurement. And I've only gotten one from Vision and that's basically just, um, that's not doing any of the valuation, that's just putting stuff into Vision's personal property thing and loading whatever tables they have. It didn't sound that promising. So I'm still trying to do that. Um, and who's, who's did we use before Molly? Who's Patriot, but we wanted to, we had put into our bud, the FY22 budget for, for um, Patriot, uh, no. RRC, regional, no, no, I can't think of the name. They do personal, they're the only ones who do personal property. They're the only ones who have personal property software in the cloud. Um, so I'm getting, um, Patriot wouldn't give me a price for in the cloud because they don't have it. And they also haven't been getting me back to me on my request for our data, a data dump. So I'm going to have to get moving on that. So who collected all that information in previous years? Did we collect all that and then no, put it in? No, Patriot did. Patriot did. Yeah. Okay. So there, uh, so we are not using them? I, I would prefer not to. Um, but I mean, we, we had put in for new software. I'm just having a difficult time trying to, I, I guess it would have to be a sole. It, I've tried a lot of places to get a bit. Uh, Patriot was non-responsive and Vision gave us a bid just for um, Just for the information, I, I, right? Just for the information to be put in their system, not to data collected or anything. So, I'm gonna so, give I'm gonna give Brian a call tomorrow, who's the RRC person, and um, see if he has any ideas for me. Who 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 collected the data in the past? We did. No, Patriot. Patriot. Yes. Was there a problem with them? Their software is very antiquated. It's in a little DOS format. Oh. And they had, uh, for the last two years, I sort of had a hard time trying to get them out and to collect the data. They kept forgetting that we're semi-annual, even though I reminded them every month from January on. Okay. So. so do we have someone we could just hire to get that information or is that out of the ballpark or where are we with that info? I, I, I um, just, I don't know how to answer that yet. Yeah. Nowhere. <laughs> okay. 
All right. And um, on the table, there's accounts payable, motor vehicle, excise, month endings, payroll for you to sign, and visions letter of service for the interim for you to sign, and then I'll scan it and Margaret can sign it. Okay. And, and that's it. All right. Um, anybody else have anything else to go over? Did you, did Molly, did you say that you had someone apply for the assistant assessor's job? Yes, I had one resume one sent. And was that, that through the, any type of advertisement or just? I think it was local. from the Facebook page. Oh, nice. So I was also going to look into Indeed and the, um, I'm, I'm trying to get their letters correct. It's like kind of do the CMRP for me. The appraisal society has a job board. I was thinking of putting it out there since maybe we could find another person like Joanne. With experience. Yeah. yeah. Um, did, did the person that applied send their resume? Yes. Do they have some qualifications? They have municipal qualifications and maybe a little bit of assessing qualifications. I should have left the resume out for you. I'm sorry. I, I'm not even sure where it is. I couldn't even tell you where to go on my desk to find it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think we maybe, uh, how long ago did we receive that? I don't want oh, to leave this person hanging no, out No, I've, I've sent emails and I said that we weren't sure where we were going yet, but we would get in touch with her as soon as we started to do interviews. Okay. All right. And Molly, is that posted on the board outside Eloise's office? That job? I don't know. Maybe we no, should that's only for. I think that's only for board meetings. No, it's for all job openings. Ask. Okay. Yeah, right across from Eloise's office is a board. Oh, I across. Used to and... ac across from. Yeah, I can put it out there. Yeah. That way people, you know, coming and going, the public can stop and look and see. Yeah, we don't really have very much public coming and going anymore. <laughs> and it might, you could almost put it on Berlin Connect. I think Mary, book. Mary did that, I did? believe. Okay, I yeah. didn't see it on there. That's why I asked. Or I don't. Mary put it where it needs to go for their policies. Okay. Uh, I think going forward, we, we should kind of make a, uh, to find out where the, where the notice is going Give it a due it, date and it, then move on. And if this is the only person that applies, call her in for a meeting, yeah. you know? Uh, so I think I come to some number within the next two weeks. Is that too short? We kind of look and see, but I, you can't make it two weeks if it hasn't been posted, you know, like Bev says on, some well, other it's, website it's, that we should put it on. Or newspaper. It's, right. it's yeah. Um, it's posted until filled, so there's not a deadline on it. Right, but I just would rather not uh, just go on. I think we should maybe, if we're not going to get any, and it's posted in 10 places, and well, two, week, two weeks later, it's no one has signed uh, then i think we need to make a decision right. two weeks well so like two weeks after it gets posted in other places it's posted right now on the the assessor's website and on the town's facebook page those are the only two places and i've asked where they've um where things usually get posted so i'm waiting for an answer on that okay all right so 
my communist yeah. will will go with whatever you wherever we can post the thing. Two more places, three more, whatever. Yeah. I don't want and to then, take up ten days posting a thing, but I think it should be posted in at least maybe two or three other places. Yeah. Wait some time and then see yeah, what we the, can do. Those were my thoughts also. Just okay. Yeah, I can't go just on one application. No, you it's you know. So assess is another towns might be reaching out, right? Looking yeah, I, there's a, a oh, well, there's a there's a actually in person meeting coming up on April 26th that I was going to bring it to the post oh, and nice. leave it on the table. So there's also a place for free Molly on the uh, DUA site. What's DUA? Department of Unemployment. Okay. You know, and they there's different categories. And that would be a freebie. Uh, okay. And government related. Yep. But I did notice, I don't know why, um, I had gotten a, I'm on Indeed and something came through and it was like a listing of a bunch of muni different municipal jobs. So I thought, oh, well, we'll put it there. Nice. Yeah. And, yeah. So. Absolutely. Okay. Is uh, that it? Yep, that's it. All right. All those voting uh, make a motion to end. I make a motion. I'll second right. it. Okay. Is and I'll unanimous. come down and sign tomorrow. Molly. Okay. The meeting is over. At 6.15.